this video, we're going to be raiding a public server in a set of course of competition and uh, seeing how well we can do from the back of the grid. Uh, it's probably going to be a disaster, but it will certainly be interesting to see how good the public server racing is on ACC. Welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. If you like sim racing, click that like button and maybe or maybe don't also subscribe and click the bell. Well, here we go. Zandvoort, 11 people. Uh, it says we're in 8th because that's just when we join the server. More people are joining. Um, I'm in the Porsche, which is what I think is the easiest car to drive quickly in ACC. Uh, we'll talk about that whilst we're driving. But before we get driving, um, before the time runs out here, we've got to be quick. We're going to do our little stupid caster settings, which are absurd, to get it even more pokey. Um, and... Uh, we need to also change our fuel. This is just a... Uh, this is just a 15-minute race. Might be a 20-minute race. And we need our wheel rotation down to 12. Poke that vehicle up. There we go. What's the race? 20-minute race. So, actually, let's have a fuel load of 56. Should do 20 minutes. Probably does, like, 40 minutes or so. That'll be enough fuel. And we got 18 people. It is full of, This server's filled up nicely. I think it's ended up on the uh, the quick join now. Uh, Zandvoort, I am not that familiar with it in this simulator. I know Zandvoort quite well from uh, from the DTM in Race Room Racing Experience. But yeah, not not so much ACC. I kind of avoided it, but uh, I think we're good. I think, I think we'll be all right. <laughs> I think we'll get a good result here. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. I don't even have tire temperatures or anything. Well, we'll, well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's just go with it. The uh, the when it comes to public servers, it is Operation Avoid Getting Wrecked. Starting from the back can help unless you want to win the race. Uh, main thing is just keeping a good distance from people. I see a lot of people complaining about getting wrecked in, in online games, uh, sim racing titles and stuff. The, the biggest things for avoiding getting wrecked, really, are qualifying the top five <laughs> or don't qualify at all and start at the back. Um, and then separate to that, just keep your distance. Assume that the other cars are filled with explosives and assume that they're going to like drive into you. When you operate from that baseline, all, all should be good and it uh, makes, makes things a bit more predictable. But, you know... Even when you're being careful, it's, it's often a war zone. But let's find out how this goes. <laughs> You'll notice we've painted our, our Porsche uh, gold. And the reason we've done that is because gold and blue are the fastest colours that you can, you can paint a GT3 car. Also looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, guys, look at that. That's purple, not blue. Just realised I'm colourblind. Um... Absolutely beautiful. Golden, golden, purpley blue. Spot on. But yeah, I mean, if this had underfloor lighting, that would help go f help you go fast. But I, I have to go with the uh, racing stripe and the gold and uh, blue, and that that's the optimal colour for, for speed. Here we go, though. Get ready for carnage. Go! Public Super <laughs> Sandvort. We're off. Now, you notice I don't have a mirror, and uh, the reason for that is that in ACC, the mirror makes the game run a lot slower. So I find turning the mirror off and just relying on the uh, car radar is the way to go for maximum performance. But uh, public servers, uh, and in general, just having a mirror is very good for avoiding people driving into the back of you when they miss the break point. Okay, now the pace of people on this server doesn't seem too bad, actually. I definitely find in ACC... Okay. Definitely find in ACC that the uh, the pace on servers, on public servers, is all over the place. Seems that... Uh, it depends on the time of day, though. If, you, if you're racing, the later you're racing, the better the racing normally is. I guess, you know, most of the sim racers are old people with... Uh, full-time jobs it's like the opposite of counter-strike you play counter-strike people are better in the day because you've got all the crazy russians <laughs> and then they get worse as, as the evening progresses pro tip 
play Counter Strike in the evening, play driving sims at, at not uh, uh, in the day. <laughs> if you if you want to avoid skilled players. Now we fifth place here. This uh, McLaren's all over the shop in front of us, but settling into a pace. I think we should be all right to uh, get. We, we should be able to get in front of this McLaren. I think. Guys in front don't seem to be pulling away too much. I think. I think. I think we might have a bit of a race on our hands here, guys. 18 minutes, bonanza. Not bad for a jumping uh, sesh. Now. The reason why, uh, as I was saying, I think this Porsche is the uh, the easiest car to go fast in, at least with my stupid caster settings, is that uh, I find the other cars in ACC in general tend to be, they drive a bit like a plank with butter on the underside of them. They don't really, they're not really that nimble. Whereas the, uh, where's he gone? This uh, Porsche, it it goes where you put it, you know, as Porsches generally do. If you turn the steering wheel, the car turns. If you get on the accelerator, the car turns. And if you lift off the accelerator, the car turns. And um, ACC's tyre model um, is actually really quite forgiving for when you go over the limit, it's, it's quite easy to catch cars, especially if you make your steering sensitive or run the uh, lower steering locks. So if you know how to actually control the car, like you're in control of the vehicle, the more a vehicle can turn, the easier it's going to be to drive, you know, because the more in control you are of it, so the easier it is to get the, the lap times out of it and hit the lines and get on the throttle and everything. So that's what I found with this Porsche. Before this, we were driving the uh, Saudi Audi. And uh, the Audi's a little bit more stable. Oh, he's left the door open. I don't think we're going to get a pass in just there. I'm not going to bother going through this section with a pass. It's too risky. Um, the Saudi Audi's a bit more stable than the Porsche in most cases. Well, I nearly rear-ended him because he got on his brakes uh, very early. So I guess... I guess you could say the, the Audi's more stable than the Porsche, but it may, may be easier to drive in that regard. But then I, as soon as I started driving the Porsche with my ludicrous setup, um, we were like, we, on, on our races with subscribers, we were instantly faster paced. He's going to take him out. <laughs> this guy's, this guy's, shall I say, a little bit erratic on his accelerating brake. I got the inside there and he was like, no. I will break later, even if it means I miss the corner. We really need to get past this uh, this guy, um, and then pray that he doesn't drive into the back of us because he, he's slowing us down for us to get in into uh, third place. So I think I'll go for it next lap. We've only got uh, five minutes in, so we've only got 15 minutes. We need to get a pass in here. If we're gonna, we got to try and win this. We're gonna get through here. I'm not sure how we're going to get past this guy without him driving into the back of us, though. That's that's going to be the real, <laughs> the real test. So, oh, where do we do the pass? Normally, you want to be on the back of him, on here. That is one of the hard things with Zandvoort. If you are a similar pace to the other cars. It's a hard circuit to overtake on. Oh, 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 the Ferrari's gone wide. He's driven into the back of him. I've had to back off to not take them both out. <laughs> I was tempted to go up the inside there, but we probably would have got away with it. Oh, man. It's pure traffic jam here. P1's just driving off. We need to get a pass in. Car's a little bit un unsettled over those crests. We've got to get past them. Get on that throttle. I'm running five on the traction control. I could probably turn the TC down a bit and then use the uh, throttle out of these corners to uh, get the back out a little bit. Let's go for the pass here then. Shift it to the right. We should be able to outbreak him. No, he's, he's, we've, uh, 
he outbroke himself there and almost took out the guy in front again. So this guy, <laughs> Jay Kamudja, his technique is do do whatever the car in front and behind is doing. I, d I don't think he's 100% in control of his vehicle. Um, which is a, you know, it's a valid strategy. But it does mean that the likelihood of him driving into us is pretty high. Here we go. Try and send it up the inside here. He's gonna he's closing the door, we're on the curb. <laughs> nice driving. It's kind of nice and stable there. Ram the wheels over the curb and it's fine. That Ferrari's just driven straight into the wall. <laughs> he's using the wipeout technique. Oh, come on! There we go. This is not a good place to get an overtake. He's going to drive straight into us, surely. I'm going to... Okay. He's... What is that guy doing? He's just... He's just turning into us. I'm there, mate. Sorry. Well... <laughs> let me know in the comments, guys, if I'm guilty or not. I don't think I was there. I think we got up the inside. He'd messed up the previous corner. Um... You know, and I think he drove into us and took himself out there. That's your honour. <laughs> I'm pleading not guilty. But that puts us into third place. And uh, we've now got a C in front of us for second place. He's just bounced his uh, Ferrari over the curb in there. It's, his Ferrari's probably missing off its, off its uh, front end after he drove into the wall a few laps back. Seems like he's going all over the place. I mean, maybe these guys have had a few drinks, you know. Come on, car. Right, we've got to get on the tail of this guy, and then we've got to close the gap for P1. It looks like he's a good six seconds or so ahead. See, if these other guys have painted the cars gold... They would be uh, they would be driving a lot better. I mean, in the case of my vehicle, is he going to hit the wall again? No. In the case of my vehicle, it's not actually painted gold. It's gold plated, and I find that really adds to the stability. You do have to, uh, you know, you have to address the suspension a bit, but it's kind of counterintuitive. Most people would think gold plated car weight, motorsport performance, you know, weight's bad, but no, nah, not really. Not not in my case. Oh, <laughs> this is not a good car to go around the outside. We might be able to double back around the inside. There it is. Can't get on the throttle, though, because the wheels are mowing the garden. We're side by side still. Really nice driving here. I have to say, uh, the net code in ACC is uh, really, really accommodating. Apart from if the car's already at limit, like, you know, you're going around a corner and the car, the, the, the side tyres are fully loaded, and then you have a gentle tap from behind. Other than that situation, um, the, the net code is like super, super accommodating from car contacts and allows you to have really good side-by-side -side racing. And I think that was about maybe two or three months ago that Kunos updated the, the net code or the car collisions to allow for that. And it, it really has, uh, that really transformed the actual quality of the online racing. Because uh, the fact of the matter is, when it comes to GT3 cars, that you often on tracks, especially like Zandvoort, you know, you're going to get a bit of paint rubbing. That's just the nature of these vehicles. They don't have that much speed difference. There's not that much draft for you to get uh, sucked with a bit of a catapult to then get the overtake in. And the ABS and TC and everything mean that you're not, there's not that much difference in what people will be doing into brake zones. So, you know, there's going to be those door banging uh, contacts and uh, it, it shouldn't be in race over and it doesn't so really that's really good oh dear <laughs> he broke early so I was like oh, I decided to go to the inside but it was it was too late I'd already put my uh, brake on this guy's a right brick wall as he's right to be I don't know why he left the inside open there though with uh, mosey on through I'm expecting him to miss the brake point for this so uh Oh, no, he's just going to try and pit manoeuvre me. Fair enough. 
I'm going to break a bit early just to be safe here. There's no point in this uh, taking each other out. <laughs> but you see there, he gave us a bit of a pit manoeuvre. I, I had a bit of cat steer. No, it's fine. Dukes of Hazard style. That's what you need. You, you, you want to be able to have a bit of rough and tough. I mean, I, I would not be able to drive that Ferrari uh, as quickly as that guy's driving it. I, to me, the Ferrari is just a total brick in this game. <laughs> I know a lot of people drive the Ferrari. It, it seems to be a car that uh, people uh, are able to drive quickly and consistently uh, across all the different tracks. You often see it at the top of the uh, leaderboards. Porsche and the Ferrari seem to be very pop car, popular cars. Uh, and cars that people tend to win with in, in this. But I fall into a state of depression when I drive the Ferrari. It, it looks nice, but I can't I can't get it to do what I want it to do. Vaseline plank, as I say. I need more oversteer. <laughs> Come on! Seven minutes to go here. We're not carrying this speed through. Ideally, I'll get past this guy. I don't know if... Seven second gap <laughs> between uh, this guy and P1. Can we double across? No. Make that go go down one on the traction control. Be interested to see what uh, New Zandvoort would be like with the, uh, the you know, the, the, this corner and the other corner being cambered as much as they are. There we go, he's left the, he ran wide there and then left the door open, sneak on through. Goodbye. Up to second place. Not bad for a good public session. Oh, he's, okay, okay, he missed the break point. <laughs> That is the beauty of Heli, uh, Heli Corsa car radar. First I heard him and I was like, okay, I'm gonna move, I'm not gonna take into that corner how I'd normally go because if we do, that car's gonna smash us. Pro tip for uh, online racing guys, always assume that the car behind you is gonna be the car into the back of you. Imagine that You've got sausages on the back of your vehicle and the car behind you is a, a hungry dog, you know. I'm really not carrying this speed through there. There we go. I our doubt is going uh, green. So... The Ferrari is definitely slowing us down a fair bit. So we should pull away from him. 6.2 seconds, oh, come on, come on. Can we, can we get a P1 before the end of this? <laughs> Five minutes to go. We're gonna have to laser focus this. See, that's really nice on prolonged corners with his Porsche. Being able to use that lift-off oversteer, I find, makes it way easier to not lose speed. It allows you to just hug the inside of the corner or hug, hug the line that you want to take through the corner. And the rotation of this car is very obvious visually. So it makes it, uh, you know, you can tell if you're on the limit or not with your car. Not quite happy through that section. And this corner I'm butchering. Zandvoort is very much a you've got it or you haven't circuit. And you really do have to attack those, uh, the appropriate bits of kerbing on Zandvoort. <laughs> We've got, got some understeer push through there. I could, 
probably do with moving the brake bias back a, a touch on this. I definitely find doing uh, public service as well is a good way of... Um, a quick way of getting decided on what sort of setup you really need. I think if you do, if you're doing hot laps, or just you know, you're not forcing yourself to do a 20-minute stint. You could set up a car for hot laps, which I mean that'd be good if you're setting up a car for quality, but really you know for actually racing you want to make sure the car is has a setup and the handling for a race <laughs> and the quickest way to to find that out is to race with the setup but with the uh, with acc actually the the nice thing is and it's one of the things that kunos really nailed is the um the aggressive default setups will allow you to race pretty much competitively i it seems to me that they uh, give or take are within a second of a, a track's pace. With the only real tweaks you would, you'd have to do would be to tire to, uh, temperatures, uh, tire pressure based off the tire temperatures. And then obviously like stuff like your own personal preferences for the, for the uh, stuff like the steering input as we adjusted at the start of this. But yeah, it's not like... That's probably one of the advantages of ACC being GT3 only. Whereas uh, when you've got sims with tons of cars, setups are often all over the place and not even slightly competitive. And the factory setups that you often get from cars are just normally <laughs> really understeery. I think a lot of sims tend to go... tend to use the factory setup as the default setups they put in it and then... That's fine as an option, but then, you know, they should do like what Kunis have done with this. And what Automobilista 2's done, actually, where the, uh, they've got setups in there that aren't terrible by default. We seem to be just hovering at the same distance behind uh, Mr. T-Ghost. <laughs> T-Ghost? That's what you get after you uh, finish your cup of tea and you leave your tea bag in the cup. Spooky! Man, I'm really on and off through there. You, I, I definitely get the feeling that you should be able to take that corner with uh, just a, a maybe a lift, a dab of the brake initially, and then a lift, and then the, the downforce and tyres should allow it to stick. These GT3 cars um, slide around so much more than uh, DTM, and as I say, the last time I really spent time on this track was with the uh, DTM cars. And there they are glued. Absolutely glued. I think I prefer DTM to GT3. You do get you get like push to pass and stuff and they're uh oh, you know, different 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 type of car. Radicals obviously the only class that matter. <laughs> but DTM definitely good fun. Not sure what's happening with DTM now, but we'll see. Final lap, guys. <laughs> P1 got held up there. We, we managed to chip away a second or so from P1. If this was F1 commentary, the commentators would be saying, oh, P, P2's catching P1. Will he beat him? It's like, no, no, he won't beat him. He, we're, we're literally half a lap behind him. Unless he bins it, there ain't no catch in 5.5 seconds in uh, half a lap. Quick, someone to hire a streaker to run across the track. Can try and finish on a PB, though. Let's do that. I always find that's a good thing to do. If you're racing by yourself, um, like even against AI or, you know, whatever... Uh, even in a race, I think it's good fun to focus on uh, when you're in no man's land, to focus on the delta at the top left there and uh, just really race against yourself and don't just uh, lay back just because you're not going to get first place and you're not going to lose your place. Keep pushing. You've got to keep attacking. 
he says, dropping half a second. <laughs> Terrible final sec sector there. But we started in 15th and we found our way to second there. I think we had the same pace as Mr. T Ghost. We'll have a look at the lap times to see if we where we were on the lap times. We just he got we, we should have attacked sooner. There we go. World War One gas attack. That's how you know the race is finished. Let's uh, have a look at those results. Firework display in the daytime, of course, as is tradition on ACC. Uh, Timetables. What was he again? 138.7. And we were on... We've had, everyone's quit there. 138.6. So we did actually have the best lap there. So I'm, I'm happy with that. We, we pro if we'd have got up sooner, we probably would have... Uh, probably would have been um, a chance of winning that. Absolute carnage at the beginning. And this guy was super erratic. But it's good fun. I mean, I have to say, I think... Um, I mean, the server browser in ACC is absolutely <laughs> atrocious. Unless you're clicking the quick join button, the server browser is just... Like, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know why they haven't added a sort by user number thing yet. But, uh, yeah, that was really good fun. The golden Porsche did, did the trick there. And uh, if anything, this video proved the importance of painting, painting your car gold. But let me know, guys, in the comments if you enjoyed that. If you want to see more crazy public server racing, <laughs> if we can beat people in public servers or not. Maybe you hate this type of video. I, I don't know, but uh, click the like button if you do like it. Subscribe if you want to see more sim racing stuff and all that luck. Happy tea drinking and uh, goodbye, everybody. Take care.